Hello students, let's solve the following question of probability. It says, three coins are tossed once. Find the probability of getting three heads, two heads, at least two heads, at most two heads, no head, three tails, exactly two tails, no tail, at most two tails. Before moving on to the solution, let us first understand the formula for probability of any event E. If S is the sample space, and E is any event, which is the subset of S, then the probability of E is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E upon the total number of outcomes. So this knowledge will work as key idea let us now proceed on with the solution we are given that three coins are tossed once so the total number of outcomes will be equal to 2 to the power 3 because when we toss a coin there are two possibilities either we get a head or we get a tail and we are tossing a coin 3 times so it is 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 8 so let us now write the sample space for this experiment the one of the possibilities that we get head 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 that is we get head on all the three coins Another possibility is that, that we get head on the first two coins and tail on the last coin. Similarly, we can have HTH or we can have THH. Then we can have TTH. Then we can have THT. Another possibility is that we get head on the first coin and tail tail on the last two coins. Then the last possibility is that we get tail on all the coins. So these are eight possibilities. Now in the first part we have to find the probability of getting three heads. So here event E is getting three heads. And from the sample space we see that there is only one possibility of getting three heads. That is H, H, H. So the number of outcomes favorable to E is 1. So the probability of getting 3 heads is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E upon the total number of outcomes that is 8. So the probability of getting 3 heads is 1 by 8. Now in the second case we have to find the probability of getting 2 heads. So here E is the event of getting 2 heads. So the number of outcomes favorable to E, here we can see that 1, 2, 3, so there are 3 outcomes favorable to E, H, H, T, H, T, H, T, H, H is 
3, 1, 2, 3. So the probability of getting 2 heads is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E upon the total number of outcomes that is 8. So the probability is 3 by 8. Now in the third part we have to find the probability of getting at least 2 heads. So here E is the event of getting at least 2 heads. Now we see that the number of outcomes favorable to E. We want to have at least 2 heads. That means we can have more than 2 heads. So one of the possibilities is head, head, head. Second one is head, head, tail. Third one is head, tail, head. Fourth one is tail, head, head. And in other cases, we don't get head more than one time. So the number of outcomes favorable to E are 4. So the probability of getting at least 2 heads is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E, that is 4, upon the total number of outcomes. So the probability is 4 by 8, which is equal to 1 by 2. Now, in the fourth part, we have to find the probability of getting at most 2 heads. So E is the event of getting at most 2 heads. At most 2 heads means we should not get more than 2 heads. We can have 1 head or we can have 2 heads. So let's see the sample space and see which are the outcomes favorable to E. These are head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail, head. Since here we are getting head one time. Tail, head, tail, head, tail, tail. So the number of outcomes favorable to E are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Since we have to find the probability of getting at most 2 heads, we can have one more possibility. That is, we get tail, tail, tail. That is, we don't get head. So the number of outcomes favorable to E becomes equal to 7. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6 and 7. So the probability of getting at most 2 heads is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to E that is 7 upon the total number of outcomes. Now we have to find the probability of getting no head. So the number of outcomes Favorable to E is only one because this is the only case that is when we get tail, tail, tail on all the coins then we don't get a head. So the probability of getting no head is equal to 1 upon 8. Now in the third, sixth part, we have to find the probability of getting 3 tails. And there is only one possibility of getting 3 tails. That is tail, tail, tail. So the number of outcomes favorable to E is 1. So the probability of getting 3 tails is equal to 1 upon 8. Now in the seventh part, we have to find the probability of getting exactly two tails. So here E is the event of getting at least two, exactly two tails. From the sample space we see that which are the possibilities favorable to E, we have to get at exactly two tails. So this is the one of the possibilities that is tail, tail, head. 
tail head tail and head tail tail so the number of outcomes favorable to e are 3 so the probability of getting exactly two tails is equal to 3 by 8 that is the number of outcomes favorable to e upon the total number of outcomes now in the eighth part we have to find the probability of getting no tail we get no tails if we get all the heads that is the possibility when we get head 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 so the number of outcomes favorable to e is 1 so the probability of getting no tail is equal to the number of outcomes favorable to e which comes out to be 1 upon the total number of outcomes now in the last part we have to find the probability of getting at most two tails at most two means we can have zero number of tails or we can have one tail or we can have two tails but we cannot have more than two tails so let's see which are the favorable possibilities so, this is the favorable possibility, this one, this one, this one, in this we are getting two tails, in this also, and in this also. So, these are seven possibilities, so the number of outcomes favorable to E are seven. So, the probability of getting at most two heads, it's tails. is equal to 7 by 8 that is the number of outcomes favorable to E which are 7 upon the total number of outcomes. Hence, answer to the first part of the question is 1 by 8. To the second part, answer is 3 by 8. To the third part, answer is 1 by 2. To the fourth part, answer is 7 by 8. And to the fifth part, answer is 1 by 8. To the sixth part, answer is 1 by 8. To the seventh part, answer is 3 by 8. To the eighth part, answer is 1 by 8. And to the ninth part, answer is 7 by 8. And this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.